this has come really, really bad news. A bit of a bummer, to be fair. Um, the rapper, or mostly the podcaster, Techstone, has been sentenced to 35 years for the Irving Plaza shooting that killed Troy Ave's bodyguard. If you're not familiar, Troy Ave was essentially the first... I would say really popular hip hop podcaster that came from the streets. Um, he was able to be incredibly insightful around that kind of way of life and also be extremely hilarious. Um, definitely somebody I felt like would be a big, huge star if he was still around today based on some of the personalities that exist within that hip hop podcasting content space. I feel like he would have done a lot of good things, but unfortunately he let his beef with Troy Ave online spill out into the street and it turned into an absolutely crazy event when they were both at this um event at Irving Plaza I think it might be like a TI party or something and they kind of crossed paths and got into a scuffle which led to a gunfight which led to Troy Ave's bodyguard and one of his best friends Banger passing away and then of course Taxstone uh being found guilty of what he did and kind of be sentenced to 35 years which is absolutely crazy to be fair but let's read the article it says former rapper um, I would say rapper, I thought say more of a podcaster, um, was slapped with a 35-year prison sentence on Tuesday for the infamous 2016 Irving Plaza shooting that left a survival musician's bodyguard dead. The Brooklyn rapper, whose real name is Daryl Campbell, was ordered to serve a sentence in prison, followed by a five years post-release supervision. So he's going to be spending five years on, on basically on um, probation crazy the friend and bodyguard of his nemesis rapper troy av um, aka roland collins daryl campbell used a firearm to target his rival which led to a loss of life and serious injuries to innocent bystanders my life district attorney alvin bragg has a statement um let's see what Alvin bragg said in this statement uh, gun violence cannot be used as a way to address conflict that continues here to quote a toll of guns continues to be staggeringly high and it's horrific that a night out at a concert ended so tragically campbell continued to claim that he was the innocent victim of the calculated hit at the hands of collins who prosecutors had long-standing feud with, with the podcast following up to the backstage bloodbath in a last ditch effort campbell claimed half of the stuff that we was told on the stand by troy Ab, who was later a shorter sentence for his testimony is a complete fly to protect herself than it is absolutely crazy event but like i said a real kind of cautionary tale to never ever take rap beef like that too seriously because look what ends up happening uh troy Ave, i mean sorry taxon essentially kept it real essentially brought the concourse smoke to troy Ave regards of where they're at um, pulled out his piece and ended up kind of essentially inadvertently um shooting and killing a police officer who's minding their business that's a really kind of sad, messed up part about the whole shield situation. Um, and like I said, 35 years plus five years probation is absolutely brutal. Um, all things considered, especially when you can think of the amount of time he's been in, you know, jail already or prison already, just relaxing and chilling while listening to flipping Boosie tell some nonsense. But yeah, um, that's all I really had to say on that one. Um, bang your doors, tax them, bang your doors. But again, a cautionary tale for everybody. Um, leave everyone alone, even if they annoy you. Just pay attention to something else. It really isn't that big of a deal in my opinion. But hey, what do I know?